Welcome back everybody to In the Kitchen with Ish, Indigenous Foods Made Simple. Today we are going to be doing an apple and leek stuffed chicken breast and it is delicious. Let's do it. Hi friends. So we're back and we are going to make the stuffing for the chicken breast first. And it has some beautiful leeks here, some dried cranberries, and some beautiful Macintosh apples. So this is one of my fall time favorites to make. You can make it with chicken or with turkey. It's up to you. We are going to start with some olive oil in the bottom of our pan. Now for the leek, it comes in a big stock. So how I break it down is I cut it in half and then cut those halves in half again, rinse it out because these grow in sand so they can be sandy. You don't want sandy chicken, not cute. So we just cut them in larger chunks. They'll cook down, don't worry about it. We like it rustic here, like I said. So we're just gonna break these down, put them in with the olive oil, add some salt and pepper and the other ingredients with them as well. There we go. Now in here, we also add about a handful of dried cranberries, maybe a little more. We put some pepper. Don't forget about the salt. And also, we have some parsley here, paprika, garlic powder, dried sumac, a garlic and herb blend, and some rosemary. So in here, we add some parsley. We add some garlic powder, a little dried sumac. Now the indigenous components to this dish are the apples, the cranberries, the leeks, and the sumac. Now if you've never cooked with sumac before, it has like a tangy, fruity scent to it. And it's really nice with poultry. So, I am going to break down my apple. I simply cut it, take the core out, and then we break it down and just cut it into chunks. Uh, no specific size or anything like that. Don't stress yourself out because it's all going to cook down and you just stuff it in the chicken anyways. So, like I said, we like to keep it simple in Isha's kitchen. Slice it a couple times, slice it this way, bam, it's done. Cooking doesn't have to be complicated or hard or anything. The beauty comes from the ingredients that you're using. Maybe you're listening to music, maybe your kids are running around screaming, who knows? All you know is that this meal is going to be great. So for this, I used one whole stalk of the leek and probably be about two to three apples. And that will give you enough stuffing for probably four or five chicken breasts, depending on the size. Give this a little stir and add the rest of the leek now. Throw your cores over here. Leeks have like a nice oniony flavor, 
So that's why I don't add onion in with it because the flavor is already in the leek. Move this to the side. And just like that. I'm going to add a little bit of water to this just to help break it down. And we're just going to saute this till the apples cook down, till the leek are a little bit more translucent, and the cranberries will have plumped up as well, and it'll just be spectacular. In the meantime, we are going to marinate the chicken, because you have to add layers of flavor everywhere you go. So let me get this out of the way. So for this, I'm just simply going to put the chicken breasts in here and I am going to marinate them right in the pan because nobody likes dishes, especially me. So for this, we're going to be using all of the above. So we need some parsley, we need some paprika. Whoops. Some garlic powder, the sumac, and I just like to use the same flavors throughout my dishes just to make everything wonderful. And just a pinch of the rosemary. We're going to add pepper. We are going to add salt. We are going to add olive oil. And then we're going to massage. So we just massage our meat here. Get everything coated. Make sure you put it on the inside as well as the outside. Don't be afraid to get your hands dirty in the kitchen as long as you wash them after everything's fine. There we go. So as you can see, all of those spices have been rubbed together and blended so beautifully. And then we are going to let this marinate for about 15 to 20 minutes until the stuffing is done. But in the meantime, I am going to wash my hands. So as you can see, it's starting to break down. Everything's looking great. I'm going to put this in the fridge for a minute until it's done. And then I'll be back to show you how to stuff it and then put it in the oven. Oh, make sure you preheat your oven to 350, our magical temperature. OK, and we're back. Um, our stuffing has cooked down nicely. As you can see, the cranberries rehydrated. Everything cooked down, it's nice, it's lovely, it's beautiful. And now we're going to stuff the chicken and bake it. So, you take your chicken, you cut it, you take your filling. Now whatever your filling you use, if you made extra, if you had too much, I suggest that you separate it into two different bowls. That way you're not cross-contaminating anything with the raw chicken. Nobody wants that. Then we fold it over as such. Fill the other. Lovely, lovely. Everything's lovely. So because I put too much in this bowl, I'm going to just discard that because it did come in contact with the raw chicken. So safety first, my friends. And that's the stuffed chicken. 
Now we're going to put some tin foil over top of it and then put it in the oven for about 35 to 40 minutes till the chicken's cooked and then we're going to eat it. Welcome back everybody. This is the finished product. Our beautiful stuffed chicken with apple and leek. This is just absolutely delicious. I know you're going to love it. And it's super simple. It's got indigenous elements. What else could you really ask for? Thanks for tuning in to In the Kitchen with Isha, Indigenous Foods Made Simple. Thank you to Hamilton Library for having us here today. I hope everybody enjoyed this recipe. And I'll see you again. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next episode, everybody. Thank you. Bye.